Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my vagina. That's the holla back video of a woman who walked through New York for 10 hours that ruffled every pubic hair on professional street pests that clearly have nothing better to do than waste someone's time by harassing women. Real quick note, while I don't think that holla back meant to exclude any race because trust me, street harassment is not biased, the whole palette is guilty. Like this asshole. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you walk by Why and just clapping and I would say the success rate is about 90% you get a smile. Uh, oh. Who thinks we need applause for popping out of the womb with a hole? Racism is a whole other appalling topic, but we're here to get cozy with vaginas, so let's focus. It would be a compliment to walk down the street without being objectified, to wear a dress that I like without being followed like my vagina is a dumpling and you haven't eaten in a few days. If you cannot control yourself, go jerk off. Not in public on the subway where a girl can see you. My first experience in Philly. Thank you. Or get a sturdy rubber band, and every time you feel the need to address someone who probably just wants to get to the subway, snap yourself on the dick. Here was a disappointing but typical reaction from Fox News. Fox News. So there is nothing more that a woman loves to hear is that how pretty she is. I have things to do other than make strangers feel uncomfortable. As a woman, I guarantee you there are other things that I and other women would like to hear. Hey, did you know there's a free dinosaur at the Natural History Museum? <gasps> yes! Uh, I just want to let you know that you've had toilet paper on your heel for the last three, four oh, blocks. Fuck. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, I saw you walking across the street and I just wanted to tell you your self-worth is not determined by anything, I think. So, have a good day. Friends and coworkers that can let me know that I look lovely today, all without licking their lips and making me feel like I should run home with my ass against the brick wall. So you're telling me then, if I compliment you on the street, it's some sort of abuse, no matter how I choose to do it. <clears throat> that means if you no, don't compliment me, no, hold on, hold on. If you don't compliment me when I walk by, that's abuse. You didn't bolster my self-esteem. I want to <laughs> find you. I want to start a coalition mm. against women who don't compliment men. What? No. Ah, fucking idiot. Ah, I'm just going to punch you in the penis. With... And no one is declaring all interactions between men and women harassment. That is ridiculous. We all look. We all glance at an attractive person, but there is a difference between a friendly, fleeting nod and leering. Some guy told me my fly was down the other day. Thank you. Hey bro, you twat's hanging out. No intent behind it. The thing is, we know the difference and we know that you know the difference between polite interaction and motivation. So don't be a dick. Another reason to avoid catcalling. Women are victims of sexual violence every day. Any man watching this who just got angry? Fucking feminist. Fucking feminists are ruining my life! Stop it right now. Fucking learn something. Because even in places like New York, where it's supposed to be open-minded, women are getting followed home. A friend of mine had a man stick his hand under her skirt, and the other day a strange man in public patted my ass because he thought that he was entitled to it. These are just a few examples within my social circle about the actions of some men. Some. Not to be confused with all. But because some men feel they have this right, it forces us to be hyper aware of our interactions with all men, and yet still, women are expected to engage with strangers without question. A lot of women, when we leave the house, we are not looking for compliments. We are not strolling the streets waiting like, is anyone going to notice these pants today? There, No one's holding a gun to your head telling you you have to live in New York City. All right, ladies, we got to pack up our lives and jobs and friends because we just have to accept that some creepers can't keep their mouth shut. And so we have to lose everything, especially our dignity. We understand the threatening implications that go along with someone who views us as a thing. Maybe a polite comment is as far as it goes with you, but I don't know you. We don't know you, and that is why it is threatening. Political correctness has gone too far. If you don't mm. like it as a woman, turn around and tell them to shut up. Stand up for yourself. Act like a strong woman. Because that doesn't get you killed, right? Because a woman got no. killed for doing that the other day in Detroit. 
Mav. A coworker of mine asked a man on the subway to stop commenting on her ass, and he body checked her. She had a black eye for a week. Right, actually. So you, sir, do not know what you're talking about. They carry about, a gun. And you oh my god, that fucking guy. I shouldn't need to tell you that's ridiculous. Apparently I do. But in case you were wondering, the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Health pointed out that the risk of a woman being disarmed and killed with her own gun is far greater than her using it in self-defense against her attacker. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Somebody's acknowledging you. She's an angry You seem to think that you have the right to harass her. It is her right to not respond to you. Dickhole. If a woman wants to ignore your harassment, that is her right. Getting angry because she wants nothing to do with you and continuing to speak to her is further harassment. Take a hint. Refusing to understand by going out of your way to make us feel vulnerable and threatened? Well, there is no hope for you really. You're, you're just a bad human. The street should be safe for you and me and everybody else. Respect, baby. Hi, um, I just want to let you know I'd have really rough consensual sex with you, but only if you wanted to.